This is an MCI 102D03 custom coach, but uh, I want to talk about the 12 and 24 volt system. The vanner that goes with the system, the batteries, and how I connected everything and following the original design also. So here's a little bit of the bus. It's been parked here because I tore apart the whole wiring system. As you can see here, I redid everything. And I'm gonna take it here in sections. Uh, so let's start with the 12 volt system. So the way they pull 12 volts for the computer and some of the exterior lights, this coach here, it's a 1992, the first edition of the 102 dl 3s and the way they pulled the 12 volts it's from battery A or their first battery and this is where they're pulling the 12 volts which is this wire and now uh, I'm missing the junction box it's not here yet but as you can see here that's my junction for now uh, so it is recommended that this wire here is plugged to the 12 volts at all times. Now, that is the only voltage that I've discovered that goes into the coach and is bypassing the main cutoff switch. Okay, so somewhere in there, there is 12 volts at all times because this yellow wire, which is supposed to be connected originally to this post goes in here and spreads the 12 volts on this bus bar by the way this is ground uh, the two at the end are ground the two bolts but anyways all the other four connectors this yellow wires they're carrying 12 volts and they're going inside the coach okay again bypassing the cutoff switch so be careful with that if you want to make sure that there is no voltage in the coach when you're working on something electrical, you must come disconnect this wire. Disconnect this wire because it's got 12 volts. Other than that, the 24 volts are safe. They're not going, there's nothing going past the cutoff switch. All right, so now, since we're pulling 12 volts from this battery, and this battery is supposed to be together 24 volts, as you can see here, the the link that connects both of them together, that U link. Um, and out here comes 24 volts. And that's why that big four out cable comes in here and is ready to go outside after we turn on the switch. Um, so the system is 24 volts and both batteries must be of the same age. Here's first month of 2020 okay uh, so both batteries needs to be of the same age same size these are AD AD batteries this is the part number from an auto parts a local auto parts O'Reilly and so when you pull 12 volts from this battery they're not gonna be balanced and the alternator when it charges it charges through the 24 volt because it's a 24 volt uh, alternator and house charger everything is 24 volts so as the voltage comes in it thinks it's one battery so but if you pull 12 volts from here you got a problem because it's gonna start seeing this battery um, a, as a different size and one of them is gonna overheat overcharge the other one's never gonna reach charge so in order to balance that problem, they came up with this equalizers. I have here an 80 amp Vanner equalizer. And what this does is we bring 24 volts into it and a ground and out comes, it splits whatever voltage goes in here so if you put in exactly 26 volts 13 volts are coming out of the 12 volt end okay 
uh, if you put exactly 24 then exactly 12 volts come out and as you if we follow this wire coming out of the 12 volt uh, leg out of the equalizer it's supposed to connect to that junction which is really the positive side of the first battery and that's how we top off this battery the equalizer does it automatically it knows what it's doing it's a very smart device and it's constantly uh, treating these both batteries uh, as if it was one it's making them one whatever it is now another thing to keep in mind is this vanner is always on earlier I was saying there's nothing going to 24 volt um, devices well there is only one exception is this device this device always gets 24 volts and if we follow the 24 volt power it, it goes here where that 4 aught comes to the battery so it is bypassing the cutoff switch so the cutoff switch has nothing to do with the vanner and and that's how it was designed you need to have it that way do not try to put it out here because then the vanner is only going to be working when you turn on the switch and that could be too late batteries as they as they sit in storage must be balanced out and it needs to be done by this vanner now it's got an led light on mine over there in the back if that's on that's when it's working so right now my batteries are topped off because i keep them topped off like you're supposed to uh with a, a house charger or shore power uh, whenever the bus is in storage and so my batteries are always ready to go and that's why that vanner even though it's connected a hundred percent it's not working right now it, it's it's idling so um that's how that works so you, that's how important the vanner is or the equalizer and so of course uh, let's go in let's go back to the 12 volts and so the 12 volts supposed to go from here to this device here which appears to me to be like a, a fuse and then from there it goes up to the switch right and so there's 12 volts here at all times and there's only 12 volts in the back going into the coach only when you turn the switch on uh, so this is the main supply of 12 volts but at the same time when you turn it on it supplies the 24 volts and this other two cables going into the coach the ground uh, this post up here at the top left this uh, threaded it's a half inch 13 bolt it's welded to the frame and that's where we're pulling all our ground into the first battery and all the other grounds these two grounds are going to the battery chargers and other stuff and this brand new one out cable one zero uh this one is going if you follow it all the way back to the vanner now i overdid it with the one out cable number four would have been fine i think it was the original size uh, something like this uh, but I, I just I got carried away I love building things the right way and building them only once so I wouldn't have to come back and mess with this again so there's the 20 I'm sorry the 12 volt system uh, that's it you pull it from the first battery and the vanner is supposed to be on at all times topping off this battery and balancing or equalizing both of the batteries so both batteries will die together all right so if you don't charge them and they they drop voltage which you're never supposed to uh, let a battery drop voltage but if in case you do forget let's say you're not around for three months and the battery uh, starts going a little bit low then it's going to bring the other one down at the same time at the same level through this banner uh okay so the 24 volts like i said it's coming out from here i use a four odd cable four zero 
and it's going in here and then from here also connected the vanner which is really supposed to go to the battery from the vanner to the battery but it's the same thing they they're joint here as long as there's not anything else interfering in between so this is technically the same wire coming to the battery uh, so that's where I pulled the 24 and then the 24 simply when you turn the, the cutout switch on feeds these two major wires in the back that are original from MCI and they're going all the way in there and feeding the coach uh, 24 volts there's several things in here that are 24 volts like your air conditioning and some interior lights and I don't know what else but there is 24 volt obviously the starter is obviously number one thing needed uh, with 24 volts uh, the starter literally when you turn the switch and start this coach it's pulling all its power from right here down that wire uh, so that's that uh, again we already talked about the ground this fuse is over here I talked a little bit about them this is the ECM the for the computer and it, uh, the computer I think I already mentioned it is 12 volts the computer for the engine which is an 8V92 TA and an Allison automatic uh, transmission which is also electronic and pulls the 12 volts from this battery all right um, that's about it for now if you have any questions um, I'll do another little video on whatever you want to know but this is the original hookup and I'm gonna show you uh, MCI's diagram here on how they did it and I'll keep it on the screen so you can see how they did it and uh, I'll talk about the equalizer a little more in the next video but here's everything I was saying you can pause the video and check out what I did uh, it's a little bit different from here but at the end it's the same idea